so you know we've got obviously the Damian Damian Dark this season right out of the gate been this big threat but I almost think like so early on in the season he was a threat and he's a great threat but is he gonna is there gonna be something else a curveball maybe uh anything coming that might uh either assist him or also be part of a problem we, we, if we tell you we might have to kill you <laughs> or or he might kill you yeah he i think i think what's so interesting about him is that we don't know the limitations of his powers because we haven't seen him fail yet so we don't know how strong he actually is and all these powers are so mystical as they are um which also makes him unpredictable we just we just don't know where he's gonna go with that so he could get even stronger mm-hmm. yeah it's kind of where i'm going idea. with that which i kind of i love that aspect that they're yeah, bringing into into this season and I think it's it's interesting because he, aside from him but you know we learn about um, Shadow Spire and you know they get more involved as the as the season goes on and um, what's what's more to come so I'm excited for that yeah me too there's a <laughs> yeah I'm excited yeah, yeah. I'll put exclamation points at the end of it and just picture just, them there just, yeah do that just makes us support <laughs> support system you guys have a great team dynamic on the show, sort of a growing team <laughs> dynamic. But for your characters, you know, because you always want to see like different pairings and what sort of the energy of different characters. Would you like to see your two characters maybe get some more scenes together, some more uh, an adventure of your own? Yeah. But, well, we've sort of we talked about it. we kind of feel like we've tricked the writers into because we stand beside each other a lot. And the thing is, like, what happens when you have like six people in a scene? Not all of you get to talk to one another. Okay. So I feel like that's happening more for Laurel and Felicity, and as they should be friends because they're both similar, yeah, similar thinkers, yeah, and emotionally. Absolutely. I, it's funny because it's not a relationship that I really put too much thought into only because you know up until season three there wasn't a lot of interaction Mm -hmm. between um felicity and laurel and it's actually awesome because now i feel as though and i I haven't even really talked about this with you but i do a lot of you know i'll do backstory and stuff like that but i feel like you know she looks at felicity laurel looks at felicity Mm -hmm. and is like inspired by her and felicity's teaching her things and even you know I wish I could say that they think the same way, but Felicity's genius, but, not but I, Laurel. I think, well, I think they do in like emotional context. Like, the, yeah, I, I totally agree with the looks. Like, we're we're shooting this scene right now, and I there's no there's my instinct is to turn and look at you for this line, but there's no chance for me to do it. So I've been actually fighting this this whole scene. I've just been like, so I'm You're doing like, this like weird look. Do you know? What I'm doing? This like weird like neck thing. Yeah, <laughs> but I do think it's like um. It's like inspirational, and I think that anything, uh, you know, if there are scenes that Felicity are, you know, if she's wherever she is with her mom or, or whatnot, you know, wherever she, if she's not in a scene, I feel like Laurel has kind of paid attention to her tech skills yeah. and picked up on them. So I don't know. I just feel like there is a friendship, and I, I hope and I think that there's room, definitely room for it to grow up. For sure. I agree. I justify things like if if I hadn't like if we haven't shown on television like Felicity's found something else. I justify it with like oh Laurel and Felicity talked about like they called each other because yeah. we never showed those things, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to shock you guys by saying that some of the fans get very invested in the love stories on this show. Uh, you know, and then there's the whole contention of like oh well Oliver and Felicity, but then there's the comic book contention of they're like well no Laurel and Oliver. You guys have a deeply invested, you know, where you want it to end, or do you just kind of like to see, you know, and, and like to see yeah. the different dynamics they can do? I like I like seeing the different dynamics, but I also feel like our story is our story, and it's kind of like where that leads and sort of not, um, it's kind of where that tumbles, really, and having that sort of fall organically as, as sort of like sticking to a structure. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also, you know, thinking about it, I felt... I was happy, and, and, and the way I look at their relationship, I am happy for or for Oliver, and I am happy for Felicity, and I see Felicity as this genuinely, like, beautiful person, and good person, and obviously, I still think Oliver is the love of her life, Laurel's life, but that doesn't mean you end up with the love of your life, and so I feel like she's come to peace with that, but it's also, Laurel didn't know who she was as a person mm-hmm. when we saw her in season one, so it was, you know, she had to find find herself and go through this journey on her, you know, her journey on her own. Meanwhile, she got to watch this beautiful relationship blossom. And, and so I feel like it's all, I mean, she's recreated herself really like it's amazing. It's what happens. I mean, that's real. (laughs) 